Susie's mom had it covered. She had two extra bags of sticks in the car. Yay! Yay. Her mom was getting tired of like covering everyone's back end, you know. Ooh. And she loved her kids so much, she did it with a smile. Yay! That lasted for five minutes. Ooh. Until she saw Susie go out on the croquet course and then she lit up. Yay! Yay. Uh, someone threw their match on her. Boo! Uh, that actually didn't make sense. So rotate. <laughs> let's get a new red player. And let's go with yelling. Can we do the yelling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your suggestion is yelling. I'm going to go with Myra. Yay. Susan, you are boo. Okay. Go. All right. uh, Joe loves to yell, and everyone can hear him. Yay! Yay! Throat is hoarse all the time. Ooh. Ooh. But his wife makes him a hot toddy. Yay! Yay! And then he doesn't get his work done at the end of the night like he's supposed to. Ooh. Ooh. He hates that job anyway, so he's going to get a new one. Yay! They are flat broke. Ooh. Ooh. But they get in the RV and they take off. Yay! Yay! The RV promptly has two flat tires. Boom! Days of the Deadhead, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to rotate because that you know that was just too long ago. We have a new blue player and we need a brand new subject. What is the subject of this next story? Anything at all? Woodworking. Woodworking, wonderful, thank you. Woodworking, Nathan, you are a yay. Go. Mr. G was gonna make a woodworking business for himself. Yay! Yay! yay. And he lived in a town with about 2,000 woodworkers in his neighborhood. <laughs> So he used a really good social media strategy to show what he could do differently. <laughs> Yay! Yay! But he lived in a town with Luddites and no one had a computer. <laughs> so he let his woodworking do the talking. Yay! Yay! Unfortunately, he had these huge hedges and no one could see his stuff. <laughs> I'm actually a gardener and a big fan of a huge hedge, so I'm going to ask you to rotate. <laughs> We get Ben up here. Uh, woodworking is cool. It's like a hobby, but it could also be uh, an occupation. What's something else that could be a hobby or an occupation? Farming. Farming. Wonderful. Uh, ben, you're yay. Farming. Jed inherited a 100-acre beet farm. Wow. Yay! yay! But Jed did not like borscht. Boo! He married a cultured and sophisticated woman who in Introduced him to Eastern European cuisine. Yay! She also introduced him. <laughs> We're not going there! We're not going there! I would like to commend you for not going there, but also rotate. Let's work the maze so we got, we got a little weight on farming. What does farming make you think of? Cows. Cows. Great. Let's go with cows. Maytal, you are yay. Elsie had a brand new cow on her farm. Yay! This new cow set her back $10,000. She didn't care about money. She loved milk products so much. Yay! It was hard to break into that market, and it would take years to see profits. Ooh. That really helped with her anti-capitalism blog, and business was booming! Yay! She was just another organic farmer. <laughs> In business school, they told her never to use the word jest, and she got a lot of self-confidence. Yay! Still, it was a slog in this market, and it was years before she saw a single red penny of profits. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Let's get another player on. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, uh, cows and milk. Um, what's, what's a type of cuisine that you really like? Sushi. sushi. I heard sushi. First thing I heard. Sushi. Kristen, you are yay. Go. George! Oh, George did it! He made the sushi really well! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> he made it so well that everybody ate it and there was none left for him. 
Boom! Boom! George is allergic to fish! Yay! <laughs> George was super hungry. Boom! He had some of the rice and seaweed left over. Yay! And that was not very flavorful, and then all of his friends thought that he had a bland personality. <laughs> Boom! They were right, so he was well representing himself. Which team rotated fewer times? The team that rotated the fewer times was the red team. So the red team gets five big points! Woo! That makes our score zero to five in favor of the red team. The scoring update brought to you by the American Council for Seaweed and Rice. If you've got a bland personality, we're here for you. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. I need the red captain on the field! Hey, y'all have jumped in early lead, which allows you to choose first in the first team choice round. What game do you want to play? We would like to play Advice Panel. What? Woo! Great. Awesome. So prepare your team. What's going to happen now is the red team is going to be providing us with advice. Careers, relationships, personal stuff, yelling, whatever it may be. <laughs> whatever, whatever you brought with you, your unanswered questions, those burning questions that you brought with you tonight to the show, the red team is going to answer those questions. So come on up on the field, red team. To get us off and running on our game of advice panel, I'm going to have each of our uh, panelists introduce themselves to you. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm uh, Bonnie. I fly for the Air Force. Uh, I'm female. Um, I've been told I'm overly sensitive and emotional, so I'm working on it. Oh, Sorry. thanks, Bonnie. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Ray Selinski, Jr. I'm president of the uh, Chicago Sports Bureau, also vice treasurer of the Elks Club. Great to be here. Um, my name's Carla, and I'm a dream interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Oh, was there more? No. That's no, that's it. it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out more as the evening goes on. Uh, so now we've met our panelists, and what they need are what they need are questions. They need questions to answer. So relationship, career advice, life advice. Any? Yes, please. Should I take the job? Should this fan take the job? Would you like to expand on the job? Just a few words. Uh, it's a sales job. I can make a lot of money, but so much work. A lot of money, a lot of work. Fan needs to know. Hmm. Money's good. Work is not good, but money is good. Well, uh, that's great advice. <laughs> um, well, what I would tell you is just, you know, you've got to really kind of make a lot of money, but be sure you give back to the community. As an elk, that's a very important tenet of our character, so I like to see more of that in my community. I'm getting a mountaintop with flames and from last night's dream. I think it's about you, and you're going to get scorched if you take that job. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely undershoot in your, in your career. <laughs> Aim low. Good advice. Awesome. Uh, yeah, anyone else? Uh, some more questions for our sage panel here. How, yes. How to be creative with space in your house so that you can get away from your spouse for a minute. Or two. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot there. <laughs> well, I have experience with that. Um, you yell at them and then they say they give you space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what I've done over the years, you know, and I've been married for a, a good happy 25 years, what I do like to do is uh you know, go out to the garage sometimes. I recently picked up a hobby of uh, building birdhouses for the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the local neighborhood. So just, uh, you know, do that. Find something to do, but make sure, you know, you leave the missus out of it. <laughs> Separate interests. Separate interests. That's my credo. Uh, you can go online to bigbedblocks.com and you just buy these big, uh, giant pillows and you put them around you. 
Um, and then you sink inside that part, and when, at nighttime, they can't find you. <laughs> you have space for at least eight hours. <laughs> you got some good ideas there. Uh, how about another question for our panel? I think, I think they're really, they're crushing it. Questions about, I don't know, sports teams. What's, uh, what's yes? the best flavor of yogurt? What is the best flavor of yogurt? <laughs> Good <Plain>. question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really, I consider myself a simple man, but, you know, yogurt just kind of makes me want to spread my wings and fly, so sometimes I just like to go a little bit crazy and get that mango flavor. Oh, it's Ooh. something else, I tell you. <laughs> For the yogurt that you can take and you make a salve and you put it in your hand <laughs> um, and then it drips in all night long in your mouth it gives you the best dream. That is time the game of the best dream. We'll change it time for my blue captain on the Get to choose a game. What do you want to play? Yes, we do. We want to play spelling bee. Spelling bee? Yeah. Wonderful. So let's get your team up here on the field. Uh, can I have uh, the name of a, of a college or university? Youngstown State. Say it again loudly. Youngstown please. State. I'm sorry, I missed it. Youngstown State. Youngstown State. Youngstown State. Youngstown State. Fans, this is the Youngstown State Championship spelling team. Yeah. 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 Now, the spellers are going to take their spelling position, which is shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. This is a championship spelling team. They're going to spell words for you right here on the spot. Uh, and just to get them warmed up, can we start with a three-letter word? Cat. Cat. Players, cat. Cat. C-A-T. Cat. Cat. The cat. Was. Angry. Cat. cat. There you go. This is team spelling. They spell it. They use it in a sentence, right here. You've never seen this before, have you? Let's get a little bit of a longer word, just a little longer. Acronym. OK. <laughs> this is not the shoot low part of the crowd. Acronym. Acronym. A-C-R-O-N-Y. Is very handy when it's short to set <laughs> beaches. I'm <laughs> really sure what just happened here. <laughs> Moving along. Can we get another uh, longer word from this part of the room over here, please? A little bit longer, maybe. Than that. <laughs> Variegated. Variegated. Being a gardener, I know what that word means. Variegated. Variegated. V R I G A T E D. Trademarked word, but multi syllabic, please. I want to challenge these folks. Intransigent. Intransigent. I know you got this, Youngstown State. Intransigent. I N T R A N G S E I N T. Intransigent. Mary always behaved. She was intransigent. Intransigent. Again, you got 
one, we saw the advice panel from the red team. We saw the spelling bee from the blue team. It is time to vote. How many of you have your voter judges whoppers with you? Hold them up if you got them. We got one, two, three, four, five pairs. If you too would like to be a judge at Comedy Sports, you can purchase your own judgeship. It's normally $25, but tonight it's only four. So one of our in for your own very own pair of Judge Walkers that you could keep, take home, swap flies, bring back, vote at Comedy Sports. It's awesome. Okay, so I feel like maybe the voting block is a little bit late. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go with it. And uh, on the count of three, hold up the Wapner, the color corresponds to the team that you think deserves the next five points. One, no, one at a time. No sneaking. One, two, three, hold them up. It's all the <laughs> They got ringers. Hey, Matt, what does that do to the score? Well, you're going to bring us that extra new score. So it's a test. In favor of the red team. It's like an Amish arsonist and a real barn burner in here. Hey. We have polling from online as well. Oh, do we? Oh. And, and play, pray tell, what are the results of the online poll? Well, I'm going to say uh, three for red. Three for red and two for blue. What does that do to our score? That makes the red team even one point more ahead of the blue team. From two to 13. But the blue team is on the board. And I really appreciate that reminder, Patrick. Thank you. We have people watching us all over the world on Zoom. Let's say hi to the people at home. We are Zoom capable. We are webinaring all of our shows to the world for free. It's as if we are watching the scene on a DVD and I have the remote control in my hand. I can make them go forward. I can make them go back. I can make them change scenes. I can make them change languages. I can make them do whatever I want. Uh, ben, come on up here and let's get a suggestion to initiate this scene for DVD. Sure thing. So, dream vacation's coming up. Where are you going? New Zealand. New Zealand. All right. Based on the suggestion of New Zealand, uh, DVD scene. Red team, are you ready? Yes. yes. Begin. It's so small here. <laughs> I know. You know, that brochure really talked a big game, but jeez. <laughs> <sighs> Reverse. That brochure talked a big game, but jeez. It's so small here. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Forward. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? It's so small here. Who are you calling small? Us hobbits aren't that tiny. Come on. Reverse. Hey, who are you calling small? Us hobbits ain't that tiny. Come on. You know, that brochure talked a big game, but jeez. It's so small. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? It's so small. Forward. <laughs> it's so small here. Are you here. pondering what I'm pondering? Pondering what I'm pondering. Forward. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Hey, who are you calling small? Skip to the next chapter. <laughs> oh, that's all the place for me. Reverse. Contracted for. It is, dear. 
Totally. Alternate camera angle. <laughs> I'll grab the tools from the truck. Thanks, honey. It is what we're here to do. Italian language version. Wee wee. <laughs> up in three words. Four words. Sum this up in three words. Kind of tiny. <laughs> Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Hey, what do you call them small? Those hobbits aren't that small. You know, that brochure cut, talked a big game, but geez. We can't build this. Sure yeah. you can. We're half your size and we built the freaking all of them little mine tiny earth or whatever we call our town. Scottish language version. Oh, oh. I just read it to you. Would that be too late already? <laughs> chat of uh, genres and musical styles, literature genres, um, and emotions, and uh, what else do we normally do for uh, historical genres. periods? We did genres, musical styles, historical periods um, for their replay. But let's get you started with an initial scene and a suggestion for that. Will you come up here and get a suggestion for your okay, team? Okay, cool. sure. Um, you have something that you've had in your trunk for a while. What is it? Stuff to take to the Goodwill. Stuff to take to okay. the Goodwill. Goodwill, yeah, stuff to take to the Goodwill. Okay, <laughs> we are going to see a, a, a minute or a minute and a half initial scene based on the suggestion there's stuff taking to the Goodwill. Players, oh. are you ready? Yes! <laughs> oh, hey, I need to check that first. Ooh. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to get it for you. <laughs> Come on, you know. It's, it's got holes in it. But it's... Nobody's gonna want it, it's mine. <laughs> you wore that bikini on our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so a long so time cute. ago, sweetie. I know. The tiger stripes were awesome at the time. <laughs> I know, they're a little stretchy now, but it's okay. Like, I just, we can, we can maybe frame it or something? Mm. Oh boy, I shouldn't have come in oh, at this time. You were I, not supposed to see that, honey. I, um, Sis, I really appreciate you letting me stay at your house, and you told me to make me feel at home here, but then why are you just like holding up underwear in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> he wore it on our honeymoon a long time ago. Oh. And that's time for our initial scene. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Captain Susan, please stay on the field. Uh, Marianne, what kind of suggestions did we get from the chat? Uh, I can get you sci-fi, I can get you opera, and I can get you 1960s. Okay, uh, sci-fi, opera, and 1960s. You get to choose the order. <laughs> okay, uh, sci-fi. And then? Oh, uh, 1960s. And finishing with? With opera. Okay, we're gonna see that scene three more times. <laughs> the first time we're gonna see it replayed as a sci-fi. Players, are you ready? Yes. Please allow me to examine the contents of this case. <laughs> no. I see a piece of sentimental value. <laughs> D368. That is a very, very old piece of space junk. It is the first piece of space junk that we exchanged together. 
<laughs> That's true. If by exchange you mean I sat in the rocket while you went and put it on the antenna. That is correct. It is a fond memory in my memory banks. Whoa, persons of G359X. Hello. Speaking. <laughs> we are exploring your planet, but upon further consideration, we're not. <laughs> this is disappointing. That was a good job you did just then. You must have put up the special screen. For screen, visitors deactivated. <laughs> The same scene replayed as if it took place in the 1960s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey you. Hey swingin' babe. We well, got the box. Oh, this box? Yeah. Oh man. I got all my groovy stuff, man. Whoa, this new bikini looks really great. I think I should wear it on the beach. I think you should wear it. We should get married first. Hey, dude, there's no need to get married. It's I know, it's a free love time. I know, right? Oh, and if skivvies, let's yeah. get this party started. <laughs> <laughs> it's a groovy time, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Opera. Are we ready on keys? <laughs> now are we ready on keys? Sounds like we're ready. Players, opera, begin. <laughs> Five blue, four red. Five blue, four red. Five plus three is eight. 
Four plus two is six, so we're going to go eight blue, six red. The red team's still in what I would call a pretty significant lead, but there's still a lot of match left to play. For the last uh, round of our first half, we're going to go head to head. I would like Captain Susan on the field. Y'all are behind. I want to let you choose the game to play for the head-to-head -head round to close the first half. Well, Dave, we yes. would like to play Scoop It. I think that is a wonderful idea. So that's going to be all six players playing the game of Scoop It. Yes. Yes. We're going to start with a red and a blue player up on the field. The captains are going to decide the order. Okay. Now, at any time in the course of this scene, any player off the field can say Scoop It, identify some aspect of that scene that they like, and start a new scene, scooping that aspect into the new universe and starting a whole new scene. And we will see a chain of scenes connected that way. It looks like we've got Maytal ready and Kristen yep. ready. And to get them started with their first scene, how about a suggestion of, um, and anyone here have an unusual occupation? Nope. Oh, <laughs> much normal. Well, Deep what are some? Deep sea diver. Deep sea diver. Deep Sea Diver is your first suggestion. Players, are you ready? Yes! Let's see it. Now the fish over there! Jennifer, I see the fish, but I'm not feeling great. I think we need to go up. Put the oxygen on your mouth! Oh! Charlie! Oh, my two best friends. Great to be here, Mike. 
That's when the meteor hit and we all mutated into one living organism that spoke at the same time. This is folks at home on the Zooms and folks fans in the arena, but we're going to have to allocate points here somehow, some way. So teams, step into the light a little more so they can see your faces and remember what you did. On the count of three, hold up the Wapner that corresponds to the team you think should get the points. One, two, three, what do we got? It's all red. <laughs> And while we're waiting for the Zooms, I will tell you we are coming to our brief halftime portion of the show. Things you can do during halftime, go to the concession stand and confess, go to our restrooms down the hall and do concess. Talk about who you think is going to win this match in the end. What do we got from the Zooms? Six blue, four red. Six blue, four red, plus the five red from the fans makes six blue, nine red. Six blue, nine red. What do we got, Matt? Uh, that makes the, no the new score 16 to 28. Wow, the bar is definitely oh, burning on this year. It's like 1628. That's the year I was born. Time travel's weird. <laughs> like I said, we're coming to our halftime portion. It'll be about 10 minutes. Uh, please, uh, please do make yourselves at home and grab some concessions and use the restroom. But let's count down to halftime. Three, two, one. Have time, and we'll see you in a little bit. Awesome.
Welcome back from halftime, everybody, and please give yourselves a big round of applause. And also, big round of applause for our teams in Red Bull. shows online, um, we could do shows in person, we could do trainings online or in person, whatever your company needs, no matter how large or small your company is, we're here to help you to make it so nobody ever has to say, that's not my job. <laughs> Check us out at PortlandComedy.com. That's the website, say it again. PortlandComedy.com. Thank you, Mayor Russell. <laughs> During the second half of any comedy sports match, it's the ref's favorite time because I get to choose all of the games, and I'm going to challenge both of the teams right now to the game of Wikipedia. So I need all six players on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've all used Wikipedia. It's usually the first thing I go to when I want some basic information about something, and we all know that anyone can edit a Wikipedia page at any time. So we're going to get our own Wikipedia page based on a suggestion of an, an area of expertise that someone in this room possesses. Mars. Mars. Whoa. Mars. <laughs> Wonderful. Based on the subject of Mars, our players, uh, starting with the blue team, will begin to expound upon this subject. At any time, a player from the opposite team can challenge something that they have heard, factually or grammatically. I will be the arbiter of which challenges are successful. We will set the timer, will we not, for 90 seconds? We are not okay. Well, I mean, I... I, I have a timer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mary Ann Rambo on the screen. <laughs> you can throw anything in Mary Ann and she will catch it. The, uh, the clock will only run when people are expounding during challenges. The clock will stop. And whoever has possession of the field at 90 seconds wins the points for their team. Blue team, you're going to start. Players, are you ready? Yes. yes! I said, players, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Thank you! For those of you who are familiar with Saved by the Bell, you'll know that Mars is the fourth planet. Movem just snub. Mercury! Venus! Earth! Mars, the fourth planet. Challenge! Myra. Mars is actually a very tasty candy bar. <laughs> that is true. Please step forward. Mars was invented by Hershey in 1912, and in such, uh, such an incredible fashion that the caramel actually fell into a vat at a time when nobody was looking, and they realized, oh my god, caramel, peanuts, challenge. challenge. Mars in the United States is not called Mars, it is called Milky Way. <laughs> Interesting fact, thank you, please continue. The Milky Way bar, in fact, does not have nuts, that's the Snickers bar. Milky Way is a smooth nougat encoded uh, chocolate bar with caramel as well. And, but it is also the name of the galaxy in which we live. Uh, it is about 100,000 light years side to side. Uh, it bulges Challenge! Kristen? That number didn't sound right to me. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Continue. It's actually about 300,000 million square miles. 45 seconds. 
expands. And it's expanding. That's what everyone talks about. It's expanding, which is why things move. You lose things. If you set something down. <laughs> Susan. The galaxy is actually contracting. The galaxies are expanding away from each other. This is cosmologically correct. Please continue. <laughs> At the center of our galaxy, and actually every galaxy, is what's called a black hole. And it generates an enormous amount of gravity. 30 what seconds. Challenge, Ben. The technical term is supermassive black hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, please continue. Yes. <laughs> In our galaxy, at the center with a supermassive black hole with the masses of approximately 1,200 solar systems. It is here where everything goes around, rotates, and moves across the cosmos. In fact, we're headed straight for the Andromeda galaxy. 10 seconds. And in a, in a Challenge! Susan? It's actually called Cassiopeia galaxy. Woo! Whoa. Whoa. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and in six billion years, it's going to come right to us. Nathan! Supermassive black hole is not just a black hole. It's a song by the wonderful band Muse. Challenge! <laughs> Myra! It's also a song by uh, their rival, the, the Beatle Newbies. No, that's not. Nathan, possession is yours, five seconds. Uh, and for those of you who love the movie, Challenge! Uh, no one likes movies! <laughs> Everyone likes movies! Nathan! The movie about sparkly vampires, Twilight. Yeah! Yeah! challenge both teams to a head-to-head -head musical. Yes! Woo! We are going to see all six players playing together in one scene, and at any, just like a Broadway musical, they may break into song at any given time. Wow. Players, do you accept this challenge? We do! Yes! yes. yes. Good, so get yourselves ready, uh, and we want to get ourselves started. Um, can I just have a noun from this part of the room here? Any noun at all? Can. 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 And an adjective you don't usually associate with a can. Zaftig. Zaftig? Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell us what Zaftig means? Pleasantly plump. Ple uh, pleasantly plump. Zaftig can. <laughs> like a can of wine. Like a can of wine. <laughs> <laughs> not like a keister. Not like a keister. But, you know, it's improv. <laughs> We can keep this in bounds, can we not? Can we not keep this in bounds? We can. We can try. Are we ready on keys? We are ready on keys. A musical scene, Zafty Can, presented to you by our players. Players, are you ready? Ready! Yes! It doesn't matter. Any size works. Not when it's spinach.
send it this way now. Santa Claus. 
uh, at tomorrow night at 7, and you can buy tickets online at PortlandComedy.com and come back. Every show is different, different players, different refs, different games, different suggestions. It's always different. It's never the same. Come back, take workshops, become one of us. It's awesome. What do we have from the Zooms? Uh, we have 80% for blue and 20% for red, so how about 8 and 2? 8 and 2, so that's 11 and 4. <laughs> to the penultimate round, which never happens. Um, can I please get uh, one player uh, from each team on the field? Yeah. One player from each team on the field. Yeah. I'm challenging these teams in the game of continuation. In the game of continuation, we are going to see scene continue at any time I can blow the whistle and yell switch, in which at which time a player from the opposite team must take the place and the character of someone and continue the scene as that character. So the scene continues with characters, but different players playing those characters. And to get us started, I need another suggestion. You get the idea about suggestions for scenes. It can be just about anything at all. Online dating. Online dating. Oh. <laughs> Online dating. That's your springboard. Players, um, are you ready for the game of continuation? Yes. 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 Let's hear that again. Yes. Online dating, go. Oh man, did you see my new Tinder profile that I put up there? Wow! Uh, Jonathan, we talked about this. Oh, come on! In class. Now, say that you have a lovely young woman that you would like to date. I do! Um, <laughs> this is what we talked about, as they say, dialing it back or not. Oh man! Switch! <laughs> Yes, you must restrain yourself a little bit. Well, man, I just really want to get this going. I haven't been on a date in a year. I think that there might be a reason for this. Oh, honey, I want to find a man my age, but I can barely see the screen. <laughs> Anyway, is that what you did? No. Oh. But everyone else puts a fake picture. Oh, wait a minute. There you are. Oh, I can't dress like that. Switch. I used to wear that back in the 60s. It's totally coming back, Grandma. You can put it on, and actually, it doesn't even matter if you wear anything below that because online dating is really only from the top up. <laughs> Is, uh, Gertrude here? <laughs> That's me! Uh, switch! Hi, <laughs> Gertrude! Gertrude, it's so good to see you! Hey, <laughs> on your date! Uh, Maddie! I see you on my computer! Right, yeah. So, uh, I think we're gonna, like, have a little bit of an online date kind of a thing. But you wanna meet IRL sometime? <laughs> IRL. <laughs> switch! Matt, what announcement can you 
Can you provide us while we wait for the Zooms? Oh, of course. There's many announcements I can give you. Give us one. Coming back in the next year, Comedy Sports is not going to be the only match we have here at the CSC Theater. We will be reintroducing our after-hours shows, popular shows such as Same Game in Person, uh, B&B &B in Person, and my new improv group, Honeycomb Home, where we're all bees making honey in an apiary. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Matt Russell on sound. He was partly joking, partly not. No, in, in next year, we're going to start bringing back our after-hour show. So after the comedy sports match, there will be another show uh, that is included in the ticket price to the comedy sports match. So when you come back, be prepared to stay for a second, usually shorter show. It's always super fun. So on the count of three, let's see the Wapner. Red for red, blue for blue. One, two, three. Let's see what we got. We got all red. Hi, red there, and from the zooms. Zooms, we're gonna do it proportionally this time. Four red, one blue. Oh, so that's nine, nine red oh, and no. one blue. What does that do to our score, Matt? A lot to it. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me one second. That makes the score good. Sorry, 41. from you uh, the suggestion uh, for, for example if it was pigeon the player would jump out and say hey did you hear about Jimmy the pigeon and you would say no what let's try that hey did you hear about Jimmy the pigeon no what oh yeah he flew the coop wow. right so if there's a groan if there's a laugh <laughs> any happy noise from an orifice above your neck a bell will ring and that player's team will score a point Matt will uh, tally up the points and we will see who won tonight's match at the end of it so to get us started yes Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The Kroger Palace is still good. Yeah, the Kroger Palace is still good. It would have been, but in this game, it's good. So glad you asked. Thank you. Uh, so let's uh, honor you with the first suggestion for it to be the pigeon. Any noun, any animal, any type of thing. Werewolf. Werewolf. Jimmy the werewolf. Players, are you ready? Yes! Good. Yes! yes. <laughs> Woo! Baseball's <That's> ready. <laughs> Did you hear the one about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! What? He gave us cause to pause! Oh! Hey, did you hear the one about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! no what? He got in a real hairy mess. Hey! <laughs> hear the one about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! no what? what? His birthday party was a real howl! Hey! <laughs> hey, did you hear about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! no what? what? He loves coolest, coolest beer. He loves a nice silver bullet. Oh. oh! Did you hear about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! no what? what? Yeah, he was really kind of moony. Yeah. <laughs> you hear about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! no what? what? His, his tuxedo was all scratched up. Hey, did you hear about Jimmy the Werewolf? No! no what? Uh, he got kicked out of high school because he was showing the moon. Yeah, oh. and he said, fangs for the memories. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you hear the one about Jimmy the werewolf? No, no what? There was that guy, and he was like, hey, where's the wolf? Did <laughs> 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 you hear about Jimmy the werewolf? No, what? He was fighting a vampire for somebody's love and affection. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it, but they closed that toilet. That's kind of an underworld uh, joke. 
Okay, that was an awesome round of werewolf jokes. Uh, real, real quick, uh, we have a suggestion from Heather on Zoom. Yes, please. Oh, God. It's Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence. Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence. Thank you, Heather. Did you hear the one about Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence? No. What? Uh, he had a lot of data. <laughs> hey, did you hear about Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence? No. no what? what? His bite was worse than his bark. Hey! Did you hear the one about Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence? No! Why? Well, of course you wouldn't! <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> Did you hear about Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence? No! What? He's machine learning. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear about Jimmy, the artificial intelligence. No, no what? what? He has no character whatsoever, a lot of vices. He's a real simmer. Oh. Did you hear the one about Jimmy, the artificial intelligence? No, no what? what? He rewrote that song. E A E A E O. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about Jimmy, the artificial intelligence? No, no what? what? He has the same initials as a misspelled Albert Einstein. Voice <laughs> <laughs> is giving them an extra point for that one. Did you hear the one about Jimmy the Artificial Intelligence? No, what? He has a PhD. Well, I heard that you can't follow him, but he can follow you everywhere. Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Do we have another suggestion from the Zooms? Yeah, we have Jimmy the guinea pig. Jimmy the guinea pig! And that's coming from Chad. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Chad. Uh, yeah. Did you hear about Jimmy the guinea pig? No, no what? what? He always wanted to go first. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the one about Jimmy the guinea pig? No, what? He was running and running and running, but he wasn't getting anywhere. Uh... You hear about Jimmy the guinea pig? No, no what? what? He gave it his best try. <laughs> Did you hear about Jimmy the guinea pig? No, no what? what? Yeah, he got in a real jam, and his car was going squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> you hear about Jimmy the guinea pig? No, no what? what? His my husband ate his cousin in Peru. Oh, oh, delicacy. No. I heard he was furry nice. <laughs> Ew, oh, poor guy. Oh, 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 oh. Did you hear the one about Jimmy the guinea pig?